Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are kicking off a one week one palette. Yes, you heard that right. It's been months, I know. It's been like five months since I've done one of these videos. I've just been busy and tired growing a human being. And also I haven't really felt inspired by any of my palettes to do a one week one palette on them. I try to do these on like newer palettes to me slash to the market. And I don't know, I just haven't felt super inspired the last couple months. But today, like I said, we're kicking off a one week one palette with the Blend Bunny Cosmetics All Done Up palette. I am super excited to be using this five times in a row for you guys because it's stunning and beautiful. And I love this color story and I love the quality of these shadows. And I can't wait to play some more with it for you guys. So before we get started, if you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see a one week one palette on this beautiful stunning palette, let's go ahead and get started. So if you are new to my channel in the last five months, thank you so much for checking me out, subscribing, supporting me, all of the above. It means so much to me, like more than you know. But you, chances are you might not have seen a one week one palette from me. So basically I take a palette and I do five different looks with it throughout the week. Normally, oh, there's powder on my hand. Normally it's like a consecutive week five days in a row um that's probably not going to be what it is this week not that you guys are really going to be able to tell i compile it into like a video with five days in a row anyways but normally that's how i do it and i just make five different looks for you guys i try to really showcase whatever palette i'm using i try to showcase its versatility a lot of different types of looks you can get with the palettes i try to do different eye shapes we'll see what's going on this week i don't know how much my creative juices will be flowing but I am excited to showcase this palette more because it's really, it's a really stunning palette. I did go ahead and do like almost like a first impressions review of it. I did swatches. I can have that linked in the eye and down below in case you missed it. And I will also have my one week one palette playlist listed down below as well. So you can check it out if you like this format of videos. I have quite a few other ones. It's just been a while since I've done it. So we are going to start off with this shade up here called Natural on a BK Beauty 201. We're just going to fluff that into the crease. That's like my skin tone color almost. <laughs> I hadn't used this transition shade yet. I'm gonna add a second layer. Yeah. Okay, so that's not showing up too well on my eye, which is fine. Um, I can just use it to blend out other shadows. Gonna go into a second layer on this eye as well. Okay, so that's not doing much, but we are going to move on to this unexpected shade right here. And we're gonna also put that into the crease. My hair is at that awkward length that when I wear it straight, it like flips out. I don't know if you guys can see. It hits my shoulder and flips out and I, oh, it drives me insane. But I'm trying to like grow it back out a little bit, uh, especially for when the baby comes. I want it to be long enough to be able to wear up, which I can do that now. But yeah, that little flip is just like so annoying. It'll grow out eventually. So we're going to take a What's Up Beauty R104 brush and put that unexpected shade into the crease. This is more of like a mustardy Oh yeah, a mustardy yellowy brown kind of shade. I feel like that natural shade is probably toning it down a little bit, which I don't hate. Maybe making it a little bit more brown. It's looking more yellow on camera than in person, but I like it both ways. I like it on camera and in person. <laughs> Make it even on this eye. I just think these mattes are so blendable. It's so nice. Okay, next up we're gonna take this pouty shade and we're gonna put that on the outer corner and up into the crease. And for that, I'm gonna use a What's Up Beauty R105 brush. We're just going to pat that out here. Ooh, yeah, that shade is beautiful. That's really like rich and pigmented. Almost has a tiny bit of like a red undertone, which makes sense because it's in like the pink column. But I think it's playing really nicely with this mustardy kind of shade. Okay, we're gonna go back into that unexpected yellowy shade. I don't wanna lose that. All right, I'm liking that. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just go over. I feel like I got this kind of high. Not the end of the world, but. All right, next up, I'm gonna take some glitter primer, you guys know, and I'm not gonna use a center bowl shade. I know I probably should, but uh, that just goldy shade is not, not on my radar for today. So instead we're gonna take this scarlet shade, no, starlet shade. Uh, very similar to that centerfold shade, but a little bit more of a greeny undertone. I think I might like it a little bit more. And we're just going to pat a little bit of that. I'm going to try to go in with a light layer. I don't want it too intense. I mean, it's pretty intense. <laughs> These shimmers are just really 
impactful, which I, I like, don't get me wrong, but ooh yeah. Oh, that's a really pretty shade. It's definitely pretty gold still. Not my favorite, but it does have that like hint of, twist of green to it. All right, and that is where we're going to keep the eyes for right now. I'm really, really enjoying that. What I do in my One Nuke One palettes is I go ahead and go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and then I come back on, show you the completed look, tell you what blush and lip product I use, because I feel like that's like the products that people want to know the most usually. Um, I don't run through all of my makeup, but it is always listed down below in the description box by day. So if I do come back on and you like really like a bronzer or mascara, I don't know, anything like that, it is all listed down below for you in case you are curious. So let me go finish this look and I'll be right back. And here is the final look for day one for you guys. I just wanted to show you it a little bit more up close. I'm not gonna lie, I probably would not have paired a black wing liner with this. I wasn't really planning on putting any eyeliner on, um, and if I did, it probably would have been brown, just with the tones of the makeup. And I also don't think I would have paired it with this lip, but I did have to film something for Instagram using those products. So I don't think it looks bad or anything, I just don't know if I would have chosen to pair all of that, but the eyeshadow looks really pretty. I really do enjoy how it looks, how like it came out. To finish up the lower lash line, all I did was mix together that unexpected shade with that natural shade and ran it along there. Super simple lower lash line. For blush, I used my Buxom Primer Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Seychelles. I thought the whole like tone and stuff went with the rest of the makeup and then on my lips i do have on the maybelline superstay vinyl ink in the shade extra i actually think it's really beautiful this is my first time trying it and i think it's like a really nice shade and i like the formulation of it it's like staying shiny but it seems like one that'll last for a really long time but like i said i don't think i would have paired this shade with this look i think this is a really beautiful color especially for the fall time later in the year um, but i probably would have paired it with more of like a brown or more subdued look just because it is kind of bright and bold but it's beautiful nonetheless so that was everything for day one i am excited to keep using this palette like truly it's been on my desk for the past couple weeks i like cannot stop using it so i'm excited to keep making looks for you guys so let's move on to day two Alrighty, for today i'm feeling something very like deep and smoky not gonna lie i don't know why i'm just like in the mood to do something like that so we are going to stick to this column right here we are going to start off with the lookout right here i might mix in a tiny bit of knockout uh, but we're going to mainly use this one as our transition shade and for that i'm going to use a morphe m511 we're just going to start by putting this into our crease don't mind my hair today. I tried to use, I asked for hot rollers for Christmas and one of my friends got them for me, which I was super excited about. So I tried them out for the first time today. And um, yeah, there's a learning curve when it comes to hot rollers. I did not like how it looked at all when I took my hair out. It, it was like a hot mess, no pun intended. So I tried to fix it with my wand and I don't like my hair today, but it's fine. <laughs> so those two look good mixed together it's looking a little bit lighter on camera than it is in person in person it is showing up a little bit more gray don't mind pepper just giving himself a bath back there <laughs> all right next i want to do a halo eye so i'm going to start off with just the look and put that on the outer and inner portions of my lid and then i'm going to slowly start incorporating this smoking shade and just keep blending and combining them together until i like how it looks i think is my uh, plan of action this is on a random LaRousse brush that I got from Ipsy, their flat shading brush. So I have just the look right here. Oh yeah, okay. I'm definitely gonna have to put some of that smoke and shade. I'm gonna mix the two together though. I don't wanna go in straight with the black at first. I feel like that'll be too much. Put a little bit of just smoke in. Put that on the inner portion as well. A little bit up into the crease. Oh yeah, we're getting dark and smoky today. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth between those two shades till I get it how I like it. Leaving the middle portion as blank as I can. My eyes are pretty small, so kind of hard to do that. We're just gonna take that original brush, no extra product, and blend, blend, blend. Are you learning how to do your makeup, Pep? Are you watching me? He's like, no, nah, I'm out of here, mom, bye. <laughs> what? Hello. 
All right, next up we are gonna take glitter glue and put it in the middle of my lid. And we are gonna take that silver accentuate shade, the shimmer from that column, put it in the middle as well. I don't want too much glitter or primer. I definitely got a little bit too much. And then we're gonna take some of that shade. Yes, Pepper, I hear you, baby. I know. And, oof, that is so impactful. Oh my goodness, I am gonna put up a little bit into the crease. I'm a little nervous about having to blend such an intense shimmer in with the mattes, but we're gonna do our best. I'm gonna take that flat shader brush with nothing on it and just try to blend these together. What, Pep? Hi, baby. I think I'm liking that. <laughs> like this outer corner needs to be a little bit darker. I'll add a little bit more of that smoke and shade. Not a lot. And a little bit more of the look, which is a gray shade. Okay. All right. I like that. I think I like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera because that took me a while and I feel like I'm not going to try to cut a lot of that out. I want you to really see like the blending and all of that. So I'm going to go do the other eye, rest my makeup. I'll come back on and show you the completed look. So give me a second. I'll be right back. And here is the final look for day two for you guys. I actually really, really like how it turned out. Obviously this is not like a super wearable type of a look. It's very deep and smoky and bold. I would not wear this on like everyday basis. To finish off my eyes, I went ahead and dipped into this L'Oreal Infallible Grip Precision Felt Liquid Liner. This is the one I used in day one as well, but I feel like it goes a lot better with this look. I just felt like this look needed to be grounded with a wing liner and then to finish up my lower lash line all i did was mainly use that uh, look shade the look shade and i did use a little bit of that knockout shade and then i went ahead and used this as my inner corner highlight i did a matte inner corner highlight i usually don't do that but i actually really like it and i also just didn't want any other shimmers competing with this beautiful silver on my lid so i just was like all right let's do a matte inner corner for my blush i used my odin's eye Soul Main Sunlight Love Blusher in the shade Sunset Clouds. And then for lips, I have on my Natasha Denona My Dream Lipstick in the shade Natasha. So that was everything for day two. I really, really like how this look turned out. So let's move on to day three. Okie doke, day three. I figure I would go ahead and show you how I created that green eye look that I was wearing in my sales regret video, as well as I popped up a picture of it during my like first impressions review of this palette. Um, I, quite a few of you guys complimented that look, so thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. So I figured, what the heck, why not recreate it, show you how I did it. I know I kind of like talked through the steps and showed you the picture and told you what I did in the review video, but I feel like that's not the same as like seeing it in action, you know what I mean? So we are gonna go ahead and start off with this vision shade up here. Don't mind my hair today, you guys. I'm working with second day curls. Normally my hair, like my curls don't stay enough to where I can just brush them out and wear them the second day. Um, I usually have to touch up my hair and I did not. I literally just brushed it out and threw some dry shampoo in it. And um, yeah, it's looking kind of rough, but that's okay. We're just chilling at home today. If there's like a really big snowstorm outside. We have like five or six inches of snow. It's a Sunday, it's relaxing. My Bengals are about to play the Bills. Hopefully they win the playoff game and then keep going on and get back to the Super Bowl and win it this year, <laughs> fingers crossed. But um, yeah, so we're just having a chill day. So I wasn't too concerned with my hair. It was either this or I was gonna have to wear it up again and I did not want to wear it up. Again, I feel like I always wear my hair up, so. <laughs> We're gonna take a BK Beauty 201 with that vision shade, like I said. This one's pretty light. I just use it as a light transition shade. Doesn't show up too much, but I feel like it is a necessary step <laughs> in the eye look. Alrighty, next we're gonna deepen the crease and we're gonna take this Muse shade right here, right below it. We're just gonna stick to this column. I know I said I wasn't gonna do that in this video, but uh, I am. <laughs> I said I was gonna mix and match the colors and shades, which I still plan on doing, but this just how this is set up, it's so easy just to go right down the column. We are gonna start putting this in the outer corner as well as the crease. This is on a Luxie uh, 229 brush, tapered blending brush. I got this in Ipsy forever ago. I've had this brush for a really long time. The Luxie brushes are good, they're kind of pricey, but you can get them a lot in subscription boxes like Ipsy and BoxyCharm and stuff like that. So I'm sure some of you own some of them. <laughs> I love this shade, I love this shade. I think it's so pretty. It's like the most perfect green shade that has a tiny hint of mint, but is like still foresty sort of green. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
because we have a snowstorm outside. I mean, I don't know if it's a snowstorm per se, but like we have like five inches and it's still coming down and it's like noon here. It's been snowing literally all morning. We took some um, inside and put it on a like baking sheet and put it on a towel for our cats to play with and they were uh, not having it. <laughs> They're both indoor cats. We don't let them outside, so they've never really experienced snow. We brought it in before for butterscotch, and he didn't like it that time either, but we hadn't done that for pepper yet. Did we last time it snowed? I can't remember, but anyways, they were not, not fans. It was funny. I'm just going back with that vision shade, the first shade, just to buff and blend. Okay, then with a refer 14 that's already stained green, because this is the brush I used last time, <laughs> we're gonna go in with this shapely shade just a little bit. I'll probably end up mixing a little bit of that Muse shade in as well. But we're just gonna deepen the outer corner, bring it up into the crease a little tiny bit, not too much. Oh yeah, those two green shades are like a match made in heaven. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, they were probably created to go together, but I love them. A little bit of Muse and Vision mixed together. And then just that Vision shade very lightly to make sure there's no harsh edges. Then we're gonna put some NYX Glitter Primer on and we are going to take this Shine shade, the green shimmer shade from the green column. <laughs> we're gonna put a little bit of Glitter Primer on and then tap on some of the Shine shade. Ooh, it is so pretty. I love how just like reflective it is. I like to bring it up into the crease a little bit. It's gonna migrate up there throughout the day. Anyways, <laughs> oof. This is, the shade is stunning. Alrighty, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and keep the eyes for now. You know the drill. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the rest of my makeup. I'll come back on in a second to show you the completed look. There's a literal snow machine going on outside the window, but like I said, we got like five to six inches of snow, so I can't be that mad at my neighbor for trying to clear his driveway. So if you can hear that, I'm so sorry. If you can't, then great. But this is the final look for day three for you guys. I really, really like how it turned out. I like it just as much as I did the first time I created it. I hope that was helpful for me to show you how I made that greeny look. Like I said, quite a few of you guys commented on it and said you liked it. So I figured I would show you all the steps it takes to get it. I think it is really, really pretty. I mean, the star of the show is the shimmer. It's just so impactful and chef's kiss. To finish up the lower lash line, all I did was mix together that Muse and Vision shade. And then I did go ahead and use my um, highlight as my inner corner highlight. And for that, I used the new ColourPop Heart highlight in the shade Making Memories. It's a good one. It's blinding, but it's really, really pretty. Then for blush, I used my Essence The Blush in the shade Beloved. I love pairing like pinky tone blushes with green eye looks like this. I think it's super, super pretty. Kind of watermelony, but I'm here for it. And then for my lips, I stuck with the pink theme and used my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. I lined my lips and filled them in and then just topped my Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum on top in the shade Pink Glow. So that was everything for day three. I'm excited to do four more looks for you guys. So let's go ahead and move on to day four. Okie doke, for day four, I think I want to try to do an all matte look, which is a little bit surprising only because the shimmers in this palette are just truly showstoppers. They're absolutely stunning, but I don't know. I'm just feeling all matte look today. I think we're gonna stick mostly with this column. I'll probably dabble a little bit into this one as well. Maybe we shall see, but we are gonna start off with this shade right here called Unexpected and put that into the crease. We're gonna take that on a refer 16 and just start buffing and blending. This is that like mustardy yellow shade I've been really excited to use. Oof, it's really pretty. I'm gonna get a little bit more. And I am gonna start also by just putting a little bit on the outer corner, just start tapping it out here. We're gonna add other shades out there as well, but I feel like this shade is like the mustardy yellow shade of my dreams. Oof, it's so pretty. All right, next on a What's Up Beauty R106 brush, we're gonna go up above that shade to this one right here called Features. We're just gonna lightly dust that on here. We'll probably have to re-emphasize this. I'm sure it'll kind of go away and get fluffed away a little bit as we do the other shades, but I don't have too much more planned with this eye look. This one's gonna be pretty simple. Ooh, okay, that color is definitely holding its own. I was afraid it maybe wouldn't show up as much and be like less pigmented, but no, it's like, it's there, which is exactly what I wanted. Gonna go back in with a little bit of that unexpected shade. Okay, now I kind of just want to 
do like a smoky sort of lash line wing sort of situation. I'm hoping that turns out cute. We shall see. We are just going to go ahead and stick with that column. And we're going to take that doe eye shade right here. First, I'm going to take it on a flat definer brush. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH43. I bought this set like a really long time ago. And honestly, they're pretty good brushes. They've held up for quite a few years. I don't know if they're still available. I think they are. We're just going to lightly tap on the lash line. I do want to slowly add a little bit of a wing. I don't want it to be too defined. Definitely want it to be smoky. I am not one that typically loves a eyeshadow wing. I don't know. I feel like I can never get it how I want it, like I can with a um, like liquid liner, but that's not looking terrible. I feel like it's usually the wing is too thick for my liking, but we are here now and we're just going with it. Gonna do the same thing over here. Yeah, see that one's not looking, <laughs> not looking good. Oh shoot, okay. Hmm, mm -mm, okay. Um, I'm not liking this wing at all. Like, that's not even a wing. I don't know what's happening on that side. But we are going to take now a BK Beauty 204 brush. And I just dipped into Doe White and Unexpected. Just went back and forth. And we're just going to, like... Oh, no. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I just want Unexpected. And we're going to try to smoke this out a little bit. I feel like this is why I don't usually do all eye matte looks. Or all matte eye looks. Um, I don't know. I feel like they never turn out as well as I want them to. How am I going to fix this wing? I'm going to take a little angled brush. Maybe that'll help. Okay, we're going to take more of that feature shade, that lightest one, and just kind of re-emphasize this on the lid. And then I also want to take a little bit of that feature shade on a big old fluffy brush and make sure that there's no harsh lines up here and blend out the unexpected shade a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, I don't love, love, love this right now. And I'm trying to like figure out how to fix it. <laughs> I feel like when other people do a smoky wing liner, it looks so cute on them. I see like Taylor Wynn do it all the time. Just people, everyone. <laughs> And I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking the best on me. But I think I'm going to stop there for now. Because if I keep finagling with it, I'll go crazy. So I think once I have the rest of my makeup on and some mascara and all of that, it should help out. Hopefully. Definitely not my favorite look. But maybe it'll come together in the end. So let me go finish up my makeup and we'll see how it turns out. Alrighty. And here is the final look for day four for you guys. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just feel like the eyes are a little... Not what I expected. I, it's mainly the wing. Um, I do think that the mascara helped. I will say that I just, I don't know. I don't love a winged powder liner on me. Also, I know I don't usually talk about the foundation that I use, but I did mix together my NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation with my House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I have mixed this foundation with so many different combinations in the past, and I almost love how it turns out. But this combination, I do not like on my skin at all. I'm telling you, me and this foundation just do not get along. I don't know what it is about it on my skin, but I do not like that. Um, really quickly though, to finish up the lower lash line, all I did was mix together that features and that unexpected shade, ran it along there. I didn't put any inner corner or brow bone highlight on. I feel kind of naked without an inner corner highlight, but since it's all matte look, I decided to forego it. For blush, I did use my Buxom Wonder, Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Seychelles. And then for lips, I used my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I aligned them and kind of filled them in a tiny bit, not like the whole way. And then I topped it with my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. I hadn't reached for this in a really long time and it's really pretty. It's making my lips look real nice and juicy. So overall, don't love this look, but that's okay. I'll probably <laughs> dabble into the shimmers again tomorrow because I just really, really love the shimmers in this palette. But I'm glad I stepped out of my comfort zone, tried an all matte look. I don't really do those super often here on my channel or really in general. I almost always put a shimmer on the lid somewhere. So that is all for day four. Let's move on to the fifth and final day though. Alrighty, we are here for our fifth and final day. Don't mind this. I just scratched my chest before coming on to film and now it is all red. Hmm. I think for today, we're going to stick mainly with this column. 
because I haven't really dabbled into that one super often. And I think I might try to com combine and mix together these two, maybe with a halo eye or something like that. I haven't fully decided yet, but I do want to use this centerfold shade for you guys uh, just to show you what it looks like. Even though it's super gold, I don't usually like gold, but I want to use it. You know what I mean? So we are going to start off with this natural shade up here, but if my memory serves me right, which I think it will, <laughs> this doesn't really show up much on my skin tone. So then I'll probably end up mixing together these two shades. And this one is called Transform. On a rougher 15, I'm going to take just that natural shade first. Yeah, it doesn't show up very much though. Oh, I guess it is a little bit, not much. So I am gonna mix together natural and transform, which is the shade right below it. There we go, that's more what I was wanting. Ooh, I actually really like that a lot. It's a super like cool tone, grungy kind of like grayy beige brown shade. I like that, it's pretty unique. Okay, now what I think I want to do is put glitter primer all over my lid and then I think I want to put this starlit shade on the outer and inner portion of my lid and then this centerfold shade in the middle. Kind of make a little bit of a halo eye with them. Honestly, they're pretty similar, so I don't know how different they're going to look on the eye. And then I think I want to try to smudge that dark brown along my lash line. That's my vision. <laughs> so we're going to do some glitter primer all over the lid. And then I'm going to take a Lunar Beauty LBE 4. And we're going to take that starlit shade and we're just going to tap it out here as well as the inner corner. And then we are gonna take that centerfold gold shade and put it right in the middle. Yeah, there's a very slight difference between these two. Not a big difference, but all right. Okay, that's looking good. I still don't love how goldy that centerfold shade is, but I wanted to test it out for you guys. So we got Starlet again. And centerfold. I did want to go ahead and smudge this dark brown goddess shade along my lower lash line. I think that would be really pretty, but just with these shimmers and how glittery and shimmery they are, I feel like that would just give me a ton of fallout. So I think I am going to forgo that step and we're going to leave the eyes there for now. I actually really like those two shimmers together. I think they look really pretty. I might deepen the crease a little bit, but honestly, I like how subdue and light it is so i might not i'll let you know if i do but let me go finish the rest of my makeup and i'll be back to show you the completed look all right and here is the final look for you guys i actually really like how it turned out i think that those two shimmers look really pretty together on the lid even that super gold centerfold shade i think looks really pretty with the other one as well and the whole thing turns out i feel like at first i'm like mm, i don't know if i like these looks and then once i get my whole makeup done like really finishing your makeup just completes the look obviously and just like really can change your opinion on an eye look. Um, to finish up my lower lash line, all I did was ran those two mattes together that we used in the crease. And then for blush, I used my Patrick Ta blush. This is not the duos. This is just the singles that he first came out with. And this is in the shade She's Passionate. I thought this really pretty like corally orangey shade would go with the eye look. And then for my lips, this is actually my first time using this. This is from Buxom. This is their um, full force like plumping lipstick in the shade Fly Girl. I have not used this yet. I got it sent to me in PR a couple weeks ago and I pulled it out and I was like, oh, I feel like that would be the perfect shade. And it goes really well with the rest of my makeup. And it is a little bit plumping, like it has a tiny bit of coolingness to it, but nothing too intense, thankfully, because normally I can't handle Buxom's um, plumping lip products, but this isn't too bad quite yet. It's just a little minty. So there we have it. There we have a one week, one palette on the Blend Budding Cosmetics All Done Up palette. I love this palette. Like I love it so much. I'm not sick of it. I'm still excited to keep using it in my everyday life for work and then other videos, all of that. I That's like a sign of a good palette is when you use it for a week straight or five days in a row. You know what I mean? Well, this wasn't really in a row, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> for five days and you're not sick of it, that is a good sign. Let me know down below, which one was your favorite eye look? I love hearing that from you guys. Like which one was your favorite? I really liked the gray silver look just because that was a little bit more different for me. And also, I have to admit, I think I was a little harsh on the all matte look from yesterday. I, after wearing it all day yesterday and all of that, and I kept like looking in the mirror, you know what I mean? I was like, okay, this actually isn't too, too bad of a look. I know I was like real harsh on it yesterday. Um, I ended up 
kind of liking it. So maybe I'll have to recreate it and try to make the wing a little less intense and make me like it a little bit more. But also let me know down below, are you planning on picking anything up from Blend Bunny Cosmetics? Either this palette, any of their other palettes. Is this a brand that's now on your radar or anything like that? If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.